Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Lightroom 3. Today's lesson is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading resource for instructor led training. We're going to take a look at a new feature. It's not flashy, but it's one that's been requested. It is the new watermark panel. Let's take a look. Before you can properly use watermarks via the watermark panel, it's best to create one. So I'm going to bring up the watermark editor. I can do that by choosing Lightroom and then Edit Watermarks. But if you're on a PC, you're going to go to the Edit menu and choose the same command. So I'm going to go to Lightroom, choose Edit Watermarks, and this brings up the watermark editor. Now I want to point out you have the option to do a text-based or a graphic-based watermark. I'm going to start with a text-based watermark. Now, for those of you that were not aware, if you're on an Apple computer, a Mac computer, you can press Option G to create a watermark, or if you're on a Windows computer, you can hold the Alt key, use your number pad, and dial 0169. So I've created the copyright symbol, and I'll just go ahead and put my name, and so that you can better see the text, I'm just going to increase the size real quick. And I want you to see that you can change the font. So I have the option to pick a different font. I could then change the style of the font. I could change the alignment, left, center, right, to the font. I could change the color. And then, of course, I can add drop shadows and different effects. But I'm going to go ahead and choose a graphic watermark. So I'll click the bullet for graphic. And then it wants me to pick one. So I already have a logo set aside, and I will grab that. And I want you to notice that I grabbed a PNG file. You can use a PNG or a JPEG, but a PNG allows for transparency. So once I choose that, my text options are grayed out. And now I can do watermark effects. So I can change the opacity of this watermark. I can change the size and scale it up or down. And then I can also change the position. So I'm going to put this over on the right side. And then I can change the offset if I want, so I can raise it up and down and adjust it. And I'm just going to change the size a little bit, make this a little bit smaller. And now I actually have my graphic watermark. If I choose Save, now I can give this a name. So we'll call this Graphic Watermark. And I'll go ahead and create that. And now I can use this. Where can I use this? Well, I can jump to my Slideshow module. And here is the watermark option, and I can pick my graphic watermark. I can go to the print module, and in the page panel, I can choose my graphic watermark. And then in the web module, under output settings, I can choose my watermark. You'll also find the watermark option when you export. So if I choose to export a file, I can also check my watermark and choose my graphical watermark there. So that's been the new watermarking panel. My name is AJ Wood. Appreciate you always stopping in for the lessons, and I'll see you again soon.